Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today, I've got a rather large Sainsbury's food haul for you guys. Um, this came to the total of 83 pounds and 77 pence. However, it's actually a little bit less because I had four substitutions and I sent three back. Um, and I think they kind of come to five pounds. So, yeah. Um, the substitutions, substitutions I sent back, I ordered some, I ordered two sets of um, butternut squash chunks. I've been roasting them in the oven lately, they're really yummy. Um, however, I had the email this morning telling me that they'd substituted them for the lasagna sheets. Um, and they're not suitable for what I wanted. So, um, when I was in town this morning, I actually went and picked up a whole butternut squash from the local market for like £1.60. Um, so yeah, the £4 worth of butternut squash lasagna sheets have been sent back. Uh, and the other substitute is I ordered, um, I ordered some chicken donuts. If you saw those, the dog treats. Um, Darwin really enjoyed those last week. However, they substituted them for something that had quite high salt content, so they have gone back. Um, and the fourth, yeah, the fourth uh, substitution uh, is a packet of crisps. I always order the Sainsbury's um, own brand ready salted multi pack, and they've substituted for Walkers. It's like 25p more, doesn't really matter. But yes, that's my substitutions. No freebies this week because the ones on the website were the same as last week. Um, yeah, let's jump into the video. There is a lot of stuff on my workshop. Right, let's start over here. So, <laughs> we have got a, a big pack of dental sticks for Darwin and Gilly. Um, the medium sized dogs. I always get a little bit confused and people sometimes comment about Darwin and Gilly because they're both relatively tall so they're medium height dogs um, but obviously they're right skinny because they both got whip in them so I think weight wise they're technically classed as small dogs but they're tall so I don't know we got the medium size um, I got another jar of the decaf coffee we have still got coffee left over from last week this is for John to take to work Oh, I saw these. These were on offer for like 70p and I thought they might be nice. The um, Quaker Oats Porridge to Go Breakfast Squares. Something nice to try. And then we were out of coffee. We literally used the last... We only have this on a Sunday and we literally had enough for one cafeteria's worth <laughs> last week. So yeah, this is the Half Calf Fair Trade Ground Coffee. Um, it's really good. Like, it's kind of what we do on a Sunday. We have coffee with our breakfast or brunch. It's really yummy. But yeah, ran out, so I had to get more. Um, oh, we got another stash of the Lego cards. We got loads last week. We now know what they're for. Um, because we now have purchased all... So, yeah, I'm getting overexcited. Mushy peas. Um, oh. Way, get out the way. So we've now purchased a sticker book because you know we're both 36 going on six. Uh yeah, so and we've now got the official book to put the stickers in. Um almond milk for John's smoothies. Two bags of mini jelly beans. They've changed the packaging. I hope that doesn't mean they've changed the recipe because I like these ones. Um I picked these up for John. I thought they'd be I can't eat them because they've got real orange in, um, but I thought they'd be a good little snack for him when he's at work. These are the Pulsing Fruit Oat Bars, orange chalk chip, I think. From memory, they're less than 100 calories, or they might be 100. Yeah, 97 calories per bar, um, and these are on offer for like 30p. So I thought they might be a nice little snack for John to have at work. I only got two in case he doesn't like them, but yeah. Uh, I got some more of this urban soup. It is very autumnal. Uh, butternut squash and tarragon. Yum. So good. It's um, not on offer anymore, but it's like, because it was on 75p for ages. But yeah, it's yummy. Um, so I'm buying it at full price. 
Uh, then we've got some Kinder chocolate bonbons because I need them. Then I got some reed diffuser sticks. Um, yeah, so I have a posh like diffuser bottle thing um, that once was from a very expensive uh, made in Cornwall brand. Um, and basically I now put a, a mixture of water and flora in it in my bathroom. Um, and it looks very pretty and it smells fabulous. But you need to change the, the fuser sticks quite regularly. They don't like Sephora. They're the only thing in this house that doesn't. Um, so yeah, that's what they're for. Uh, oh, I think I've already showed you the mushy peas, but there's mushy peas. Um, I picked some up, some tumble dryer sheets, not to use in my tumble dryer. Um, I'm slightly obsessed with this Mrs. Hinch that I'm sure you're all following. Um, on Instagram, uh, she was talking the other night about putting tumble dryer sheets in her cushions and pillows to make them smell nice and fresh. So I'm doing that now too because I do everything she tells me to do. Um, oh, I picked up this little little toy. It's a Duplo. I think it's called like my first, yeah, my first race car or something. Because you know, Christmas is coming. Uh, I've also got birthdays as well on the way. Not mine, other people's, because, yeah. Uh, milk. British red apple. <laughs> red cabbage with apple. Mushrooms. John is going to make some pancakes um, on Sunday. Um, however, he's got to go out, so rather than make his own batter, he's going to use a little set kit. Um, we have got three bottles of Pepsi, um, two just Diet and one Pepsi Max. Just how it's happened. <laughs> uh, we've got some cherry tomatoes. These were on offer. I love these, but they're normally quite expensive. Um, but yeah, these were on offer this week, so I got a pack. These are the Cheeky Chocolate Chip Snacker Jack, 62 calories per cake. I reckon over a weekend I could probably eat this whole kit, this like whole packet, which isn't great. But as the thing I really wanted to buy was giant chocolate buttons, that's kind of it seems like a good compromise. Um, so these are becoming a bit too regular in my life, but they're so good. These are the vanilla custard donuts by Sainsbury's. They are amazing. And we've got a whole cucumber, more custard because you know. It's autumn now and I need custard. <laughs> uh, oh, another Instagram made me buy it moment. Uh, mint polar chocolate chip sandwich bars. They're basically mint penguins, um, but a lot cheaper and you get more in the packet and they're really yummy. I got a pack of pretzels. Got some carrot sticks. We, I think I've got two of these. Um, neck drains, another snack for John, he likes these. Red grapes for me, and there's some mashed potato under there. Uh, a cabbage and leek steam bag, the crisps I've already showed you. Um, some spinach. We've got some beetroot that I would like to roast in the oven. There's the other packet of fruit for John. A little packet of sprouts there. <laughs> um, oh, I talked about these in my... Um, what did I call it? Buyer's remorse video. Um, these are the Grey's protein power nuts. John really likes them. Um, I know I only buy them when they're offered. They're back on offer now. Um, John, yeah, good snack for John. Um, they still. I used to buy a multi pack of red onions for like eighty p. We've been out of stock for I think the last three weeks. So I've been buying loose onions because supposedly that's the cheapest way of doing it. Um, these are like, like I do have large hands, but I can fit both onions quite comfortably in one palm. They're like the world's smallest red onions. Luckily you buy them by weight, so you know, it's not a rip off, they're just a bit small. Um, Hovis uh, lower carb seeded bread. It's like the only bread. Uh, is it the only bread we buy? Like, we buy wraps and pitters now and again, but for sliced bread, it's kind of like my favourite now. Uh, and then we've got some of this Sainsbury's Be Good To Yourself grated cheese. Um, we've got beef mince again. Had it for the first time in forever last week. 
um, with pasta. Really enjoyed it. So we're having it again. Um, and then, yeah, so it's the 5% fat one. This is another throwback that we had a lot earlier on in the year. This is the slow cooked um, British pork bites with a chip, uh, how do they call it? With a sauce, like a barbecue sauce. It's really yummy. It's good. Then we've got the lightly dusted bassa fillets. They're really nice. <sighs> so I bought this by mistake last week and I bought it on purpose this week. Uh, bread and butter pudding. <laughs> it's so good. The only issue is I eat too much of it, but it's really yummy. Uh, cocktail sausages, cooked chicken breast, and two little steakies. Some bananas that look very green in real life. They're looking a bit more yellow on camera, but green bananas are good because they last. Some wraps. Um, I can't remember where I saw it. It was on somebody's Instagram, I think, where they were having a, like a low-calorie wrap covering it with um crunchy peanut butter which we always have and then like wrapping a banana in it making like a little banana peanut burrito i'm very much looking forward to trying that <laughs> try colored pasta because we used it all up last week it's less than a pound it's really yummy i like it frozen being naughty we're having frozen chips again because life is hectic at the moment and that's what's happening uh, we've got a little too used to having ice cream in the house. Uh, but yeah, so strawberry and vanilla and mint chocolate chip. I've got an, a meal for one because John's out again one night this week. Tried this last week. Um, I was really impressed with the calorie content of it, but I'm also super impressed with the flavour. I add salt to all my food because that's just how my taste buds run. But it was yummy. And then the last thing is a battered box um, with two slow-cooked lamb shanks. And that is this week's food haul. There's a lot of it. This is probably, well, this has got to be over a 10 minute video. Um, so well done if you made it to the end. Um, yes, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.